Hello friends, and today I want to quickly tell you about something that often confuses new users. And that is how to erase parts of an imported image. And the short answer is that you can only erase part of an imported image when the image format allows it. So if you've imported a PNG image which does allow transparency, you can erase part of it. But if you've imported a JPEG image which doesn't allow transparency, you can't. So let me show you. So here I've got two identical images, one saved as a JPEG and the other as a PNG. And if I add them both to my scene, first the JPEG image, so I'll click and drag that into the viewer, and I'll choose to import them so I'll have a copy in the project extras folder that you can see on the right here. And because it's imported, I can edit the copy in OpenTunes without affecting the original. And in a minute, you'll be able to see how these look after being edited. So with the other controls out of the way, I'll just resize and position this imported image using the Animate tool at the top here. So you can see both images side by side. And I'll choose the All option. So I can drag this handle to resize the image and then just click anywhere on the image to move it to the top left. And I'll rename the column as well, so we know which image is in this column. And I'll do the same for the PNG image. So I'll drag it in, I'll choose to import it, and you'll see it appear in the Extras folder. And then again, using the Animate tool, I'll resize it, and I'll place this at the bottom right, and I'll rename the column. OK, so I'll just switch to the eraser tool at the left hand side here and I'll select the JPEG drawing in the timeline and then we'll just erase part of the image. And I'll do the same for the PNG image. So I'll select the drawing in the PNG column and for this one I'll erase part of the right hand side of the image. And notice that you can see through to the camera colour on both images. But to make it clearer to see, let me just change the colour of the camera. So from the XG menu, choose Scene Settings. Double click on the camera background colour. Choose a nice colour. And then I'll increase the alpha, ready for when I want to render, and close that. So because we can see through to the camera, it's tempting to think that the erasure worked. But as soon as you hit Save All, the part of the JPEG image that you erased now shows as white. And this is because a JPEG image can't be stored with any transparency. And by hitting Save All, both of these two images were saved on disk to the files in the Extras folder. So at the top left, this really is a JPEG image which can't store transparency. And at the bottom right, this really is a PNG which can. So hopefully this shows you that if you want to erase part of an imported image, you've got to be aware of the file type of the image you're importing. And if it's not a PNG, just convert it to a PNG before you add it into your scene. And you can do that in a drawing program like Critter. Just load it in and then save it out as a PNG. Or you can drag the image into its own frame in OpenTunes, resize it to fit the camera size, and then render out that frame as a PNG. And you can do that from the Render Output Settings and just choose PNG as the output type with the frame number shown in both the start and end frame boxes. And then once rendered, you can drag that PNG into your scene for editing. So to create transparent areas in an image, just use an image format that allows transparency. And then you can erase whatever you like. And that's a guarantee. Thank you.